Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In Apostle Joshua Selman's powerful message, Scriptural Prayer Modals, he reveals the true power of prayer. He teaches us how to align our prayers with God's Word for incredible results. Feel the strength of praying together and see how it can truly move mountains. Learn to develop a structured prayer life that brings clarity and breakthroughs. Unlock the secrets of effective prayer and start seeing divine results in your life. Join Apostle Joshua Selman and discover the art of scriptural prayer for a victorious life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Please hear me. Let me just give us one prayer point that God is putting in my heart, especially because it's a women program. I, I want every mother to pray for your children and to pray for your home. Um, I was speaking in the UK and I became very alarmed at the rate at which the devil is attacking children. Mental health. Many of them are getting into all kinds of eastern religions practices and some of them come from well-grounded spiritual families they are sent to school and after one year they can call their parents and say just to let you know i'm not a christian again and don't you dare try to question me on it who summon you and the powers that be unfortunately have created a system that makes this very easy that children can disown their parents now happily and society can fund that misbehavior and allow things to run let's not take for granted you remember when moses met pharaoh and said let my people go pharaoh said okay here's what will happen we will allow you go but we'll keep the children and moses said no way everybody is going so whether or not you have biological children we're going to pray for all the the future of this church this ministry and every mother if you don't have you have siblings if you are a young person here you can pray over your siblings but please let's pray for one minute satan thus far have you come no further shall you go someone pray thus far have you come no further shall you go thus far have you come no further shall you go thus far have you come no further shall you go go ahead pray for the children pray for the youth here at the king court mothers pray that everyone who came out from your womb will serve your God will live for God will serve the purposes of the kingdom it will not be that because you gave birth society became worst it will not be that because you had children you died early it will not be that because you had children you backslided spiritually because of frustration someone don't be silent pray as for me and my house we will serve the lord as for me and my siblings as for me and my spouse as for me and those that god has put within my care take a minute to pray take a minute to pray take a minute to pray Shabaka paraka toska pres, rakata preka paraka toska parakos. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my children, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah! In Jesus' name. Please hear me. Don't be offended at this statement, but it is not the usual 
for parents to still remain greater than their children when they become adults no are we together no matter how great the parents are according to god's destiny program one day the children should rise and become like a giant oak tree but you see what satan is doing now you can find a child that is almost 50 he still say mommy can you please help me with 2000 it's a cause i tell you it's a cause it's a cause are we together that no parent should be the one still feeding their grandchildren they are alive for and still feeding their grandchildren hallelujah father gave birth to his children in that one room or that two bedroom flat the child grew up married he's still in that house and now they're about to have their grandchildren it is not the way god works don't feel condemned if that's your situation i'm just saying that's not how god works someone say father please shout it say father in the name of jesus let my children be greater than me go ahead and pray in my lifetime let me see that greatness not when i die in my lifetime let me see the greatness of my children in my lifetime let me see the glory of god in the life of my children and my grandchildren this is the heritage of the saints someone pray seriously in my lifetime in my lifetime let me see the glory of my child let me see the glory of my daughter let me see the glory of my grandchildren let them build in my lifetime let them marry in my lifetime let them have children in my lifetime let them serve god in my lifetime let the nation celebrate them in my lifetime not when i go to my grave please pray every cause every yoke that makes one generation to be less than the other i come against it in jesus name pray My children will be greater than me greater spiritually greater financially greater in terms of influence greater in terms of advancement please pray in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray it is an evil that has destroyed many parents and grandparents in old age where they are supposed to be resting all that frustrates them do you know what killed Eli it was the issue of his children Eli he already suspected that these boys those boys were supposed to take over from him one of the greatest pain in with the privilege that i've had counseling parents is the pain that they have in old age over issues of succession and the fact that there is nobody who can stand in defense to the family name because the the devil programmed that everybody who can uphold the name becomes a useless person it's an evil every time i read the story of eli i'm disturbed how does a priest become so worried the ark of god then his sons Hophni and Phinehas you see that and his daughter-in-law had to get into labor I'm not sure it was time but she got into labor because of that stress and she named the child Ichabod he said because the glory of God has departed from Israel that it should not be that in this family there were once people who serve God but now it has become a place of idolatry it should not be that somebody will look at you and say the trouble that started in your village happened when you gave birth that it was because your child came that means it would have been better you did not even give birth ah look at what naomi said naomi said call me mara don't
don't call me Naomi it is sadness and sorrow that has surrounded me my husband is dead all my children dead everything that represents myself what has died call me Mara don't call me Naomi you know what Mara means bitter that means my entire life is like I was a bitter pill for people to swallow one prayer point you are going to pray for yourself the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed let's invest in one minute praying for all our mothers and aunties nobody will be called mara that the story of your life will not be a bitter testimony someone pray in one minute from the depth of your heart naomi was a good woman naomi was not an evil woman but something plagued Naomi's life. All the supports in her life. She said, don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Every mother, every woman, every sister, every auntie. By the spirit of the living God. Your testimony will not be destroyed. You will not be called Mara. You will not be called Mara. You will not be called Mara. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me before I kneel to pray. I stand agreeing with the grace upon the angel of this house. Please hear me. If there is any family here and there is a cause you have seen that makes sure that parents never reap from their children. I've seen that. That even when the children rise, just when they're about to be established, something cut short the parents. They die. You believe me, oh, I know what I'm saying. No. The Bible says you will plant and you will reap do you believe that you will plant a stranger should not be the one now enjoying some you will labor you sleepless night i forbid it for every mother here in the name of jesus now that you are alive you will remain alive hallelujah there are spirits that search for families, search for great destinies. Their assignment is to frustrate that family. That parents in old age when they should be resting, one report after another. Everybody you raise, both biological and other children, everybody disappoints you. Appa, one person has to fear God enough. Are we together? Do you know why many parents just leave courses as they go to their grave? It's not supposed to be so. When parents are about to go, it's a time to bless. But it's the pain they have gathered for 50 years, 60 years. They just leave a course. I remember a true story many, many years ago. I know about a woman, her son kept bringing pain and embarrassment and one day in anger she cursed him. She said until the day a rat stops stealing, that is the day he will stop stealing. <laughs> Do you think any mother will want to say that but this is what happens when pain happens. I'm saying it again, every programming to waste your remaining days, that it will be spent in pain, in regret, I cry unto my God, may he avert it on time, may my God avert pain on time, avert shame on time, I say it again, avert pain on time, avert shame on time. Avert pain on time. Avert pain on time. Hmm. Avert pain on time. In the name of Jesus. Your children will not bring you shame. People will not be calling you to use your life as a lesson. To warn other people. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to pray for every young person here. 
whatever wants to slow down your rising to make sure until your parents die before you rise that you have you have promised mama you will build for her it's not because she needs the building that you are giving them a taste of their sacrifice i have the privilege and the honor of having my parents alive and i'm grateful to god that i can do the bit that i do for them when i see the joy and the smiles on their face on account of what god has helped us become it gives me joy even as a son are we together now yes he says satisfy me early is someone ready to pray that prayer don't be tired though we are wrapping up but this is you are beginning with destiny in a profitable way i pray for every young person here whatever has stopped you 10 years you have graduated but not the first job you are in lagos a place of plenty i call upon my god in the name of jesus christ that in this year 2024 may my god sort your life believe it may my god sort your life listen the bible says the increase in the field is for all not for some the increase in the field is for all that even the king is fed by that which comes from the field every opportunity in nigeria or the globe is not for a special group of people no sir no sir is for everyone you must be angry and force your portion out of destiny are we together i say it again in the name of jesus every young man here and parents you can agree for your children whatever is making them slow in destiny crawling through destiny we pro we pronounce speed speed of establishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray over this now. I believe everybody has their request. Why do we pray on this? Because number one, God tells us to make our request known. No assumptions. And I like to pray on requests like this. You know why? Because this is the most accurate expectation or ex expression of your expectation. Nobody is going to read it. This is between you and the God of heaven. But I like you to pray tell him lord for the sake of your glory let there be answers to this prayer go ahead and pray for the sake of your glory let there be please go ahead and pray just take one minute i'm laying my hands on this request praying on them is your name Jesus you deserve the praise worthy is your name worthy is your name Jesus you deserve the praise worthy one more time. Worthy is, Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to say this. I just saw something that I, I trust. I know God wants to avert it. I'm looking at a truck that carries goods like maybe biscuits or something. I'm seeing it collide with a Corolla car and everybody in that car dying. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody here, nobody here, it will not be said anybody here died. Please don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. But when God reveals like this, whether it's for you or for your loved ones, I say it again. From now till the end of the year, you will not bury anybody. Not by accident. Not by sickness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will not be that your child will go out in the morning and you will not find the person again. In the name of Jesus. Listen, let me tell you. People related to me, I remember one of my dear sons in ministry, they were coming back from a program and they just called me. I think it was from, where was that? They just ambushed all of them and kidnapped the first vehicle could run away but they kidnapped the other ones and I they just said within 24 or 48 hours the first thing was about at 50 million or so they said if it's not brought they would shoot everybody one by one and these people are heartless people let me tell you the truth they would do it eventually like that people had to beg I, I will not tell you how much I had to pay eventually as ransom evil is bad though evil is bad is the reason why believers must receive prophetic words your whole savings can go in one day because of the evil heartedness of someone i say it again you will not sow for another man to reap you will not sow for another man to reap you will not sow for another man to reap in the name of Jesus your going out is blessed if you leave your house you must return back I say to a believer if you leave your house you must return back and for every request that is here represented in the name of Jesus no matter what that situation is we call upon the God of heaven to turn this request to answers speedy answers in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I use this opportunity to pray for the foundations of Sapphire eight this is eight years am I right eight is the number of new beginnings everything that represents the old old pains old wounds old shame we declare let it go with yesterday welcome to your new season season of grace season of speed season of breakthrough greater capacity in the spirit greater unity among the women in the name of jesus shout amen seven times Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, they didn't request that I do this, but I want to challenge someone. And my apologies if I break any protocol, but I want to challenge someone as God has placed in your life. I want us to honor these mothers by sowing into the foundation of Sapphire. I'm not going to ask you to give anything. It is between you and God. But you see, it's a responsible Christian practice. It's not about money. Many of these mothers and even the ministry is blessed. But this is why many believers don't grow. Once you receive from a stream, you sow into that stream. Are we together now?
so let me challenge them don't say my mother is part of the foundation that's not the issue as i'm saying this i know by myself i will also honor the instruction because it's coming from god don't come and receive you have learned about prayer you have learned about so many things don't watch the foundations of sapphire and just come and say wow god bless the mothers and leave responsible christianity mentors people to know how to respond i'm saying it again it's not about money have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to jesus or you want to rededicate your life to jesus christ as your lord and savior then say this short prayer lord i admit i am a sinner i need and want your forgiveness i accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love not based on anything i have done cleanse me and make me your child be faithy receive you into my heart as the son of god and as savior and lord of my life from now on help me live for you with you in control dot in your precious name amen congratulations to you if you have just said that prayer you are now a child of god look around you for a bible believing church and also ask jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve him consider subscribing to this channel too so that you'll keep learning the realities of god's kingdom god bless you